So guys, if you remember the story, if you've been following our channel for a while, you know that we had two barn cats, Stormy and Smokey. Now, sadly, Smokey wandered away, disappeared. Very sad. I've been bummed out about it for a long time, but you know, I'm, I mean, life's gotta go on. What am I gonna do? The mice are running rampant in and around the farm. There's squirrels everywhere, there's chipmunks. Stormy's had a bum leg, so she's been limping. And she hasn't been herself since Smokey disappeared anyway. It's been quite a long time now since Smokey's disappearance. You know, it's coming close to two months. And uh, I had to start thinking about, you know, succession plans for the barn cats. Now to be perfectly honest with you guys, even with Stormy and Smokey here at the farm, we had plans this year to acquire a few more barn cats. So today, I'm going to introduce you to a new member of the team here at Hidden Spring Farm. Even with two barn cats, we're 90 acres here, guys. There's no way two cats are going to be able to handle everything. And, uh, you know, we had it on plan to get more cats. And now we took a step back because of Smokey's disappearance. And we're still bummed out about it, but we got to get over it. How you doing, guys? Chad here. Welcome back to the channel. Molly's here with me guys, as she always is. She's my best girl. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Chronicles of a Farm Stay Startup here at the Hittersburg Farm! The Hittersburg, the Hittersburg Farm! I can hear Elvis going nuts over in his new digs. That means he's getting a little bit more comfortable. That's good, yeah! Let's just go check in on Elvis and his girls, and we'll check in on these other pullets and cockerels. <laughs> See, that's Elvis. We'll check in with these guys before I make the introduction. Why are you guys all gathering around the door? These chickens are all doing good. Elvis and his girls are getting settled in. It's probably gonna take them a couple weeks to get used to their new coop. Let's just head down into the barn where the new guy is. We have a new, new guy. Smokey was the new guy. Now we have a new, new guy. His name's Fozzie Bear. He didn't really have a name at the farm that he came from. He comes from a farm where there was far too many cats there and he didn't treat the cats the same way I treat the cats. I treat the animals here like they're my pets, like they're my family. And I'm proud to do that, you know, really proud. So he doesn't really come with a name. I'm gonna have to train him on his name. He, he reminds me of Fozzie Bear. I don't know how old everybody is. He reminds me of Fozzie Bear from The Muppet Show. Waka waka! You remember Fozzie Bear? You know, he had the little, like, the little hat and he was just such a comedian. Waka waka! This guy's name is Fozzie Bear. Fozzie for short. And, uh, He's a little bit shy. Farmer, where we got it from, said that he never got along great with the other cats, but it wasn't his fault. All the other cats were bullying him, and we, we took him on our farm. Stormy's a sweet cat, should have no problem getting along with him. And uh, let's go see Fozzie. How you doing, Michael Jackson? How you doing, Michael Jackson? Ah, huh? are you bad? Hey, are you dangerous? Are you a pretty young thing? Ah, huh? a PYT? Ah, huh? MJ. <laughs> beat it, beat it. Barn training cats is really not that difficult as long as you can get over how sorry you feel for the cat. When I was barn training Stormy and Smokey and I had them inside <laughs> MJ and I had them inside this cat house that I built and I had a cage attached to it. Every time they see me, they're basically crying, putting their hands outside of the cage because they want hugs, right? And they want to get out, they want to be free. But this time I put him in this room all by himself and uh, hopefully that's going to give him a little bit more freedom inside that room and maybe that room can be his house.
Fuzzy! Fuzzy! This is Fozzy, guys. One thing about Fozzy, he doesn't like to be picked up. He really doesn't like to be picked up. He's so fat. So guys, I'm inside a small room inside our barn. And this is where Fozzy Bear is gonna be living for the next while, really, because he needs to be barn trained. I understand completely that he doesn't know who I am. He doesn't know this barn. He doesn't know the farm. And he's probably a little bit scared, you know, being away from his home. He's very friendly. He's always rubbing up against my legs. He's, uh, he's not hissing at me. He's not scratching at me. He's got a little bit of a weight problem. It almost looks like he's pregnant, eh? Because he's got this huge pouch. But he's very, very calm, very gentle. He's four and a half years old. The farm that we got him from was worried that uh, he wasn't living the best life that he could because all the other cats took all the food first, you know, they picked on him, they scratched him and pushed him away and scared him away and he's just like a, a soft natured teddy bear. He's quite a good sized cat. Now he really doesn't like to be picked up. You know, if I try to pick him up, it's like he really doesn't like it. He's not fighting me, but I'm just trying to make him, make him feel at home, you know? Make him feel that somebody loves him. A beautiful cat. Fuzzy. And I've never seen a male cat that has a big pouch stomach like that, so hope he doesn't have anything wrong with him, like parasites or something. But once he gets settled into the farm here, we're gonna take him in for a vet visit. I don't think he's ever been to the vet. You know, he's just like a barn cat. He was born in a barn and he's, that's his life. But we're gonna take him on. We're gonna show him, we're gonna show him the ropes here at the farm. He seems to be drooling a lot too, eh? So I don't know if he has like, if that's just a nervous, you know, like he's anxiety. He's a little anxious because he doesn't know me, he doesn't know the farm. You know, like stress related. Or he could have a tooth problem. Once we get him to the vet, we'll figure that out. See, he's very sweet, he keeps coming up to me. I basically come in here multiple times a day. You know, in the morning I change out his litter, I clean up all the poop and stuff, so make sure he has a clean litter all the time. At the other farm, he's not litter trained, but as soon as I gave him the litter, he started going in the litter, which is a good sign. You know, cats, they have a tendency to want to pee and poo inside something soft like Sandy. That's why it's easy to train cats to go in a litter box. Then I got his food here. I got food and water for him. He's a very healthy eater. Hey, Fuzzy. typically takes three to four weeks to barn train a cat. The one thing I'm not really sure is what about an older cat? Like he's four years old. So is it the same thing? So I think probably what my wife and I are gonna do is keep him locked up in this room in the barn for probably a month and a half, six weeks or so. And then we're thinking that should be enough. We'll test the waters, we'll let him out of the barn, see how he behaves, see how he reacts. But I feel like we have a good loving home here for this cat and he can have a really good long life here at the farm and it'll keep him busy. He's gonna live free or die hard, you know? We're giving him dry kibble and I'm giving him a package of wet whiskey food. Just to make him feel really at home, you know? So every once in a while we'll check in on Fozzie Bear and see how he's hanging in there, living all by himself inside a room in the barn, listening to MJ Crow all day long. Where's my Stormy? Stormy! She's a lone wolf, that Stormy. 
She's a lone lioness huntress, always looking for something to kill. Stormy! Usually I can hear her, whenever I shout I hear, <coughs> even if it's from a distance I hear it. Ooh, the wind's picking up. I don't see Stormy anywhere, anywhere. Where did she go? Maybe she's keeping her distance from Fozzie Bear. I haven't introduced the two yet. I want to let Fozzie get really comfortable with the farm before Stormy starts giving him some head swats. Because Stormy, she's feisty. Remember when I brought Smokey home, guys? Stormy used to hit Smokey in the head. You know, like Wolverine. Stormy! God, I lost another barn cat. Stormy always turns up, though. She never disappears. <laughs> Hello, geese. Oh, I hear Stormy. Did you hear that cry? Stormy, where are ya? Oh, she's in the new chicken house. She always comes back, this girl. Back leg's been really bothering her. It's gotta be just a sprained ligament or a sprained muscle. She's always climbing. Even when she's, when, even when now she's limping around, hobbling around, she's still climbing trees and chasing stuff, you know? She's a very small cat, eh? Like, look at the size of her. You know, Stormy is a year old. It's a very small cat. Look, she's there hanging out with Molly. The two of them get along great. I mean, Smokey got along with Molly great too. Molly's just a sweet girl, that's why. I have noticed Stormy's been lying around a lot more. She'll run somewhere and then just lie down. I think that's because her legs bothering her, you know? Which is good, she needs to rest. I've been locking her up in my workshop so that she's not wandering around the farm at night because I'm worried about like a coyote or a fox or something and she won't be able to get away from them or defend herself. So, you know, I'm scared for her. I don't really want to lose another cat. I think it's going to be nice to see Fozzie Bear around the farm once he's finished his training. He looks like he's caught a few mice in his day. And I'm sure Molly and Stormy will get along with him just fine. And if you're not already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button and pound that like while you're at it. And click that bell notification symbol for me. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care, okay?